Ben and Todd, thanks for joining us on your Sports Swin. It's first day of the season and you've got the victory, Ben. Kind of scraped it a little bit in the end, though. Yeah, we made a lot harder work out of that than we needed to. Um, we didn't really click into gear in the second half. We dragged into their game and fair play to lads, we dug it out, but we should have been a lot more clinical than that. It should have been a lot more comfortable, without a doubt. Yeah, from a, a playing perspective, how did you find that out out there today? Defensive-wise, in our half, we were solid. They weren't getting through. But um, attacking-wise, we need to improve on that, especially in the red zone. So we'll work on that in training. In the half time, it was it was 26, I think. So you're in control at half time, and in the second half, kind of just drifted away. Yeah, I'd, I'd, personally, I don't know what happened there with that. But it's something we need to work on. Maybe it's fitness to do with that. And, um, Personally, just probably might need some more fitness drills, isn't it? I'm sure, you've had a tough pre-season. You know, how, how has pre-season gone? It's been know, good. It's... it's been really good. We've had some really tough fixtures, some really competitive fixtures. Um, the boys have really bought into it, but I think this is a little bit of a wake-up call that we really need to step it up now. Uh, we've got a tough away game in Bristol next week, where if we come into it with that attitude, we start coming into today, we'll. We'll not get a good result out there because Bristol are always a strong side. They've been one of the top ones in the last few years in region. So it's, we've got to switch on and hopefully we'll rectify a few things of training and then get stuck into it. You're obviously the, the reigning champions. So in many respects, you, you're up there to be, be shot at. There's no reason though for the players to, to feel any pressure, is there? No, I mean, teams are going to line us up. Everyone wants to beat us. They're going to bring their strongest squads and all the opposition players are going to be marking us as the team they want to play against so everyone will bring their strongest squads they've got available which we're you know it's part and parcel of being champions we've got to live up to it and we've got to come back each week and just keep putting the results on and getting getting ourselves into the super sixes at the end of the season so a few new faces in, in the side you know today from, from last season how do you think they slotted in well i'm a new guy myself but um, Seven, yeah, yeah. <laughs> i was in germany before but i come back now and uh, there's quite a few new faces, but we're all bonding together, good friends. So it's just, it's like, yeah, just like old friends around about. Yeah, and yourself, Ben, you know, the, the additions that you've made you know, can only strengthen the squad. Yeah, it? definitely. I mean, we had a few lads who were playing the first ever game of rugby league today. It showed in times, uh, but it'll be a fantastic experience for them. Um, young Luke Cannon, who's coming at nine, which is a very difficult position. Uh, to play in league regardless. Um, he had a try disallowed in the corner, which I'm sure when we see the footage that he grounded it, definitely, without a doubt, because um, I was stood two metres away. But that was fantastic, he really stuck up. He had a shaky first introduction for the first 10, um, but he's still top, got to grips with it, and I'm looking forward to seeing what he can do for the rest of the season. Same with lads like George, George Burditch, who came in at centre for his first game of league. He's, there's a lot of potential with these boys. I think they'll get a bit, of, a bit more knowledge from the game after today, so I think we'll all really start flying soon. How, how important is it that the players start making you know the, cro the cross code, you know, from from rugby union to, to rugby league to, to kind of strengthen the, the sport in general? I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot players can learn from coming and playing rugby league. It shapes up very differently, especially in attack and defence. The defence that these boys go through, what Todd will show you, what I'll tell you about from today, is unbelievable. The amount of work you've got to do getting back and coming up and fitness wise it's fantastic it helps you control the collision a lot better than they do in rugby union because uh, that's where the focus of the game is in league and then in attacking wise you've got 13 on 13 i mean in union it ties in a little bit you get that little bit more space it makes you work harder for the space i think players can learn a lot from it uh, i think players can learn a lot by going both ways to be honest with you uh, it's, it works well for us a lot of most of our players are Union boys in the winter and then come over to us. It's, it's good to see, to be honest. Yeah, and, and looking you know, ahead to, to the next game, obviously looking for a vast improvement and a bit of work to be done in training, presumably. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm fairly confident if we play our game plan, which we did in the first half and completely controlled it, then we'll get a very good result and we'll come through. But if we go away from it, like we did today, we're going to struggle. Um, the boys get, down, get themselves down training on Wednesday. Um, they'll obviously we'll tighten up a few bits here get a lot more clinical in attack get those defensive drills done get some fitness work done and i'm sure we'll be ready to go and um, todd i think you've been given a man of the match award today so please do that yeah it was good for him brilliant he's had man of the match every time he's played
Has he really? For me, yeah. So Cut good, that one out. So a good, <laughs> sign, a good signing. <laughs> yeah, he's done good as lad. Brilliant. Well, congratulations, guys, and, and good luck for next week. Brilliant. Thank Cheers, you. Cheers. Cheers.